Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. This video will demonstrate how to wire the EL1SS for Telco using the bypass board. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Please consult the manual for complete instructions and safety information. Do not install more than one EL1SS on a phone line. You will need the following items. 18 to 24 gauge twisted pair wire such as Belden's 9501 or equivalent. Gel-filled splice connectors to prevent corrosion and connectivity problems if splicing is required. A small screwdriver. Please note, do not run telecommunication lines through the same conduit with high voltage lines. This diagram shows an overview of how the system components are arranged. Telco service enters the site at the demarcation point. The Telco signal is sent to the bypass board. The bypass board sends the telco signal to the EL1SS and back. The bypass board also sends the telco signal to the house phones. If an alarm system is installed, it must be connected between the demarcation point output and the bypass board input. If a DSL splitter or filter is installed, it should be placed in series between an alarm system and the bypass board. For ease of access, install the bypass board in the housing of the EL1SS or in a weatherproof housing that is external to the demarcation point. Once installation is complete, setting the bypass switch to bypass allows the EL1SS to be disconnected without interrupting normal telephone operation. Make sure the bypass switch is set to bypass before you make any connections. Run the wiring between the bypass board, the EL1SS processor board, and the demarcation point. For ease of identification, label the wires on both ends. Tip and ring connections are indicated on the bypass board, the EL1SS processor board, and usually in the demarcation point. For this demonstration, we will use the new color standard for wiring indicated in the manual, with white wire used for tip connections and blue wire used for ring connections. The wire colors at your installation may vary. At the demarcation point, disconnect the home phone wiring from the incoming telco service. To connect the wire labeled telco, insert the blue wire in R and the white wire in T in the telco connector on the bypass board, then tighten the screws. In the demarcation point, connect the blue wire to the ring terminal and the white wire to the tip terminal. To connect the wire labeled house phone, insert the blue wire in R and the white wire in T in the home connector on the bypass board, then tighten the screws. In the demarcation point, splice the house phone wire to the home phone wiring that you previously disconnected from the incoming telco service. Splice blue to blue and white to white. Again, your wire colors may vary, so be sure to match ring to ring and tip to tip. To connect the wire labeled EL1SS line, insert the blue wire in 2 and the white wire in 1 in the system connector on the bypass board, then tighten the screws. In the EL1SS, insert the blue wire in ring and the white wire in tip on the line connector. To connect the wire labeled EL1SS phone, insert the blue wire in 4 and the white wire in 3 in the system connector on the bypass board, then tighten the screws. In the EL1SS, insert the blue wire in ring and the white wire in tip on the phone connector. Set the bypass switch to operate. Telco wiring is complete. Thank you for choosing LiftMaster. Learn more about our access control solutions when you visit us on the web at liftmaster.com access